Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again. Disclaimer, there will be spoilers for the MCU. You have been warned. What is going on guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. Thanks for checking out the channel and my video. It's Carolina Vice here, where I am dedicated to keep giving you guys solid content and I want to hear your feedback. I am working on getting this channel up and going and for all you guys who are watching me, thank you. Now, into the review. All right, so in my last video in Dune, I talked about how we have so many superhero movies out there. I love superheroes. I mean, you can obviously tell I have been <laughs> closet collecting quite literally um, some collectibles for some time now. But anyway, let's talk about Marvel. Next month, Avengers Endgame will turn three years old. Yeah, three years since Marvel capped off. Oh, I'm so blind. If you don't have bad vision, you have no idea how good you got it. It's been three years since Marvel capped off Phase 3. With a three-hour epic, that felt more like a Super Bowl. Now, I know Technically Far From Home capped it all off, but since Endgame was literally inclusive for the entire cast of Avengers, I kind of treat it like the actual end bookmark. Far From Home was like the cherry on top of a triple-flavored sundae. Ever since then, I've been wondering, where will they go from here? That may seem like a silly question since they have a plethora of source material to choose from, but just how they ended it with RDJ's iconic Iron Man making the ultimate sacrifice and Chris Evans passing the torch to another fellow Avenger and even Chadwick Boseman's sad, untimely death truly felt like the end of an era. And it kind of was. What Kevin Feige has done for Marvel is historical not just for cinema, but for media in general. Superheroes are accepted everywhere now. When I was in middle school, they would shove you in the locker for wearing a Thor or Hulk shirt. Kids, man. But with that meteoric rise and hype comes criticism. Martin Scorsese has stated that Marvel movies are ruining cinema comparing them to an amusement park and not truly exploring the mind's eye. Black Widow couldn't even take it. It is true that Marvel has an algorithm that has allowed them to put out blockbuster after blockbuster, but that's because they're comedies. Modern day action field comedies, quips included. That is not necessarily a bad thing. Thor Ragnarok is one of my favorite Marvel movies because they reveled in this. At the same time though, Avengers Infinity War is my favorite Avengers movie because it's a tragedy. Our good guys lose despite their inevitable comeback, but no other movie made me feel the way I felt when I watched Infinity War. Endgame made me cry. I was genuinely surprised and shook leaving the theater that day I saw Infinity War and was more excited than ever to see what we would get next. It was Empire Strikes Back for our generation. A cold touch of reality entered these movies. Then we got Endgame, which was a proper send-off to our heroes. But it played it kind of safe. Again, controversial, I know. But a part of me wishes Endgame pushed what they did in Infinity War even more, breaking their algorithm. With something as powerful as breaking the space-time continuum and going to the subatomic realm, they really could have pushed for an almost reset for the MCU. I can't stress how much I love Endgame, and again, that movie means a lot to me. Following RDJ's journey has felt like flying to space with Elon Musk. His trials and challenges in life have really been inspiring, and he has persevered through it all. I was just hoping for something a little bit more like Infinity War. In Marvel Comics, they have done resets and retcon. Could you imagine an Endgame? The consequences of all this time traveling creates an anomaly that just sucks the MCU up and then rolls the credits, just leaving him being like, what, what could they do next? Maybe that would have been a terrible ending and that's the reason why I'm not in that industry, but when Marvel takes risks, to me that leaves a far bigger impression. Take Spider-Man No Way Home. Peter loses everything. In his shoes, he did lose his universe. He lost everything. May? MJ? His best friend, the Avengers, all the Stark suits even. But now the next time we see Peter, he is going to be the Spider-Man. Not to get too philosophical here, but as the audience, when we see characters struggling on screen and finding the determination to 
persevere through the chaos is why we make a connection. So in the future, I do hope Marvel does more of what they did in Spider-Man Far From Home and in Infinity War. Now, I'm not currently all up to date with all the shows that are on Disney+, Plus, but I did see WandaVision and I loved it. This psychological drama disguised as a sitcom felt so fresh from other Marvel projects. I loved the Vision fight and the discussion about Theseus' Theseus ship. Marvel plus more philosophy and science is a win. And let's not forget about that Doctor Strange episode on Marvel's What If. It is better than like 90% of the movies. It's so dark and tragic and the visuals. Dude, I am so hyped for the multiverse of madness and Benedict Cumberbatch. He's just a treasure to our world, man. He's such a good guy. I still need to see Power of the Dog, by the way. Have you seen it? So... Answering my question about where does the MCU go from here, the answer lies with Doctor Strange. In fact, there's been speculation that Doctor Strange will be replacing Iron Man's in turn of being the arrogant goatee guy. I mean, the resourceful guy. In the trailer for the new Doctor Strange, we can hear the Patrick Stewart's voice. Guys, all the doors that have just been opened, the possibilities. I love Patrick Stewart and all the X-Men game. <laughs> X-Game mode! And all the X-Men movies. And I think he is perfect casting for the character. Right up there with RDJ's Iron Man. Kevin Feige has done it again. I was wondering where they were going to go. How they could top what they accomplished in the past. This is it. Tying all the different Marvel projects is just a brilliant move. Well done, Kevin. You have got me excited for what could come next. How about you guys? Should I review more Marvel movies? Or a better question, who do you think should be the next ultimate villain for the MCU? I hope we get a great fleshed out Doctor Doom and maybe even a God Emperor Doom. And guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. I am working really hard to get quality content out there. And until next time, guys, y'all be good. Peace.